I'm gonna get eaten by a shark, by the Loch Ness Monster. Watch. All for, what, a pocket watch? What is it? A telescope? Oh, what's wrong with her? Okay. That's the last time I have a potion idea that I don't want to Okay, shall we meet Natty? I think it's time to meet Natty. Wait, what is this? I really have made a mess of things. What happened? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps oh. you could get them for me. Oh. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. If I have time. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Um, no, no, no. That's not the quest that we want. We want to meet Natty. This way? Where? This way. I need a broomstick or something. This is so weird. Where do you want me to go? <gasps> is that Hagrid's hut? It looks like it. Oh, this is so cute. No, but is this? Is it? True shame. How nice to see you, my young <gasps> friend. Beast classroom. No, no, no! I need to do this. Oh. I need the magical beasts. Natty, where are you? Flu flame? There is a flu flame right here. Off on another adventure, are we? <gasps> the bridge, you guys, the bridge. She ran a truck star. Whose house is this? Let me in! Oh! I can come in. Oh! How nice. Oh! So cool. It's bright. Oh my gosh! Wonderful. Is that where Dumbledore is buried? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What? Natchi, finally. Get this ah, free flame. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. I don't know when if I should have told her. Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. I don't know if I should have In told fact, her. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. 
It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. What? You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Vanrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. <sighs> I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. All right. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Natty's so nice. Be on your guard. You can't imagine I how we beg your pardon. Oh. How dare you threaten me? What's going on? What's going on here? Help the stranger. Hold on. I want to see what's inside here. Oh, darn. Oh. Who's this? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh no. I shall keep a look at I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I wish it had you. been under better circumstances. Okay, no. There's so many quests. Help the stranger. How do we help the stranger? Which one is that? Okay, this one. How do we do Professor Hackett's stuff? After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringos. They I must shouldn't... have come this way. Think! What's going on? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to- Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Wait. That's out of you. Leave her alone. Oh. Stupefy! Wait. Your life is here. Oh, what are you doing? Oh! Did you see that? Oh! What's going on? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Wait, what else do I need to do? Um. Oh, I'm going to enjoy it. We can turn them off! Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. You are not going to What? No. That's the best you can do. You're easier to spot than in a room. There we go. 
defeat Dark Walker. There's ten? Wait, how many? Oh. I hate heights. Wait, I lost? Why? What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. What just happened? Uh, are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's oh. the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Aww. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work oh. and life. Well. How extraordinary. I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere, mere myth. myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. How fast are you? I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. Mm -hmm. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Mm. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our Let's little see. hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Let's see. Oh! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Conjuring fire might work. These are pyres after all. Where'd he go? 
I take it we can call that a success? <laughs> we can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Track quest. Whoa, we need to do the rules. That. Greetings, young Slytherin. Oh. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Who's Scrope? Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Who is this? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. So then... Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see... I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? In water? Oh, yeah. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. Aww. They never returned. Oh. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I might drown. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. If I drown... There? Okay. I'm gonna get eaten by a shark, by the Loch Ness Monster. Watch. All for, what, a pocket watch? What is it? A telescope? What'd she say? This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Watch me drown. Nope. Oh, okay, so I get stuck. What'd I get? Oh, I found it, okay. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. No. What'd I get? Okay. Tanning attire. Um, where'd I go? Hello? Return to the surface. Oh. Yes, but how do I... I just disappeared. I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. What do I press? Pressing everything. 
Okay, let me let me go to this flue flame because I I can't get out of the water. <laughs> sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Um, you could have done Hello, it yourself. Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did here, and it's your and I'm keeping it. Oh, I feel like that's kind of mean. Oh, for a price. Okay, I feel like this is a good. I did, but it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. I shall need to be compensated. Yep. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. All right, let's... Gear, okay. So apparently we got a lot of gear? Facewear. What's this? Oh! Defense. I like. Eh. That's high defense, but like, it looks very weird. I wish we had more. Okay, headwear. Cute. 12. Okay. I feel like... That. Outfit. Ooh, we got some new outfits. Ooh, 29. Oh, but that's 36. 18. What is this? Tan riding attire. This looks cool, though. Ooh, cool. 